What's up guys? Ice Boy here. So we're in a strange place right now when it comes to Diablo. When it comes to which way might you go in terms of playing this told game. You see, right now, Ice Toad's been playing Project Diablo 2, of course. A lot of nice additions here. You have a big as fuck inventory. You have a big as a toad stash. You have all sorts of new skills and shit. For example, these skeletons on this necromancer, they do splash damage. It's very nice. Because it can be quite tedious as a melee character, or even a summoner, for that matter. With how you have to click on every single fucking enemy. And then... Consider the Lightning Sork. She comes in, blows everything away. Couple clicks, the entire fucking screen is clear as a toad. Not only her, of course. Consider the godly Javazan. How with Enigma, not the Enigma in PD2, it's been nerfed a little bit. You have charges, there's a cooldown on the teleport. So you can only teleport so much, so often, and so frequently, all right? It's kind of tedious, but it still works. But say LOD Classic, you got the Javazan who teleports into shit and just wastes the entire screen. A couple clicks, is all dead. And then you have a Frenzy of Barbarian, you have to run around and hit every freaking enemy. Every single enemy you have to click on, unless you're holding right-click with Frenzy on your right-click, but you still have to swat with your weapon every single enemy, and that can be quite tedious. So that's why, my point, in PD2, splash damage has been implemented on magic, rare and unique melee weapons, and rune word melee weapons. And uh, it's also applied to a lot of minions in the game, including Skeletal Warrior, all right? And Clay Golem as well. I think all the Golems do splash damage. <clears throat> but I'm not entirely sure of that. So yeah, Project Diablo 2 has a lot of ups, and the latter reset for Season 3 is coming very soon. Uh, season 3 begins July 23rd, alright? And isn't Path of Exile, like, starting up soon as well? Uh, someone in my comments said how... I think there's some new shit with Path of Exile on the 23rd as well. And then there's Path of Diablo, all right, kind of like PD2, only uh, some of the nerfs in PD2 aren't there. Some of the nerfs, are, or there's some new nerfs for that mod as well, so, and new additions. So there's that to balance, but here's the thing. Diablo 2 Resurrected, coming out in September 20-something, I think is what it is. So just a few months away, right? So there's that, and there's a lot of you toads in the comments who are going on about how that's going to be, it's going to be this place where everyone's playing in terms of Diablo players. But I don't know how true that is. You know, I think for a little while that's going to last, but how long really is that going to last before folks go back to playing Diablo 2 modded versions? I mean, you have a large stash in these modded versions. You don't have a shared stash, which you will have in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Uh, you even have widescreen in Path of Diablo in Project Diablo 2 mods. But of course, Diablo 2 Resurrected is going to have widescreen as well. Uh, probably its its greatest selling point is the fact that it has enhanced graphics. And I believe it also is going to have an enhanced soundtrack, remastered. Now, I suppose kind of an audiophile, all right? For a while, I've been into uh, like high-end audio equipment. I have a pretty decent setup. I have a couple power amps, uh, decent tower speakers, uh, preamp processors, you know, things like that. So nothing too extravagant or expensive, but you know, I have an Emotiva two-channel power amp, uh, one of their best ones, the XPA2. It's a very nice power amp. It's, it's a hog of an amp. It really is. So. 
I like audio, all right? And if they're remastering the audio track, which I think is what they're doing for Diablo 2 Resurrected, that might be alluring. You know, you can hear uh, a more high bit rate of sound, hopefully. And uh, just more details and things like that. So I'd kind of look forward to that, the audio aspect, which uh, probably isn't talked about very often. So what's it going to be like going from a nice high quality audio track that's been remastered? And I, I think they might be uh, making new recordings and shit, right? Let me know in the comments below. I, I'm pretty sure that's the uh, the center of it is uh, they're like re-recording a lot of sounds and uh, music and shit. Which would be interesting. You know, hopefully they do it right. But of course, maybe that could be added to Project Diablo 2, for example. Could they have the same setup with just the new audio? Maybe that's something they could do. Uh, a problem that I have with Diablo 2 Resurrected is that the women are ugly as fuck. They're all butched out and thick as fuck. Uh, swalled up, look like they've been taking steroids, look like they're on... TRT is out that shit is. They look like they're on TRT and shit, all right? And I think that's fucking bullshit. And I know a lot of you dogs are with me on that. And some may say it's a, it's a minute point, but is it really? Might be a big fucking deal. You're staring at these characters the entire time you're playing. In fact, she's in the center of the fucking screen. Nearly 100% of the time you're playing. So why would you want to be staring at some butchers fuck women who initially in the original game was actually a slim, pretty damn decent looking, relatively attractive women? You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to be staring at this shit the whole fucking time. And in Diablo 2 Resurrected, you can even zoom in to see that husky as fuck face. You know what I'm saying? I think that's kind of a big deal, man. I think that's fucking bullshit. Uh, but let me know in the comments. What, what are your opinions on that? See, because why the fuck would I want to play as that husky out women when I could go back to regular D2 and have her uh, the way she was intended to be? The sorceress, nice and slim, you know, quick to teleport. Uh, nimble and quick, you know, but now she's just husky as fuck and ugly, to be honest with you guys. Uh, the Amazon, who is athletic looking, but pretty damn attractive. You know, I, I'd want to go back to that. Wouldn't you? And the assassin, like what the fuck happened here? Um, but I don't know, when the, when the camera zoomed out, maybe they'll look okay, but I think they should really change that shit. And I know they said, oh, we're considering the character models, but are they really? I don't think I've seen any new images of these women, but the last ones I've seen, they're ugly as fuck, so. Come on, man. Like, y'all gonna change that shit or what? Like, I think I think they should change that shit. Because if they change that shit, uh, I'll be stoked. You know? I mean, just make them look how they did in the fucking original. Just higher res. Look at the original artwork. They weren't just blurry as fuck. You could see their refined edges and shit. And these women had nice, soft, facial... Features, you know, thin out them legs a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Make that ass nice and tight. Uh, I mean, this shit is just uh, scratching the surface, but but if they make those improvements, you know, I could see it uh, having more longevity. You know, because because you'd be like, well, I could go back to Project Diablo 2, and then the women will be nice again. So maybe I'll do that. But if they're nice in Diablo 2 Resurrected, you'd be like, well... Yeah, you don't got the biggest fuck inventory, you don't got the whole charm inventory thing, but you do have a shared stash, and the women look pretty good, so maybe I'll play the Diablo 2 Resurrected. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hopefully there's still time, but like the fucking video if you guys are with me on that. And maybe we gotta get the word out, to be honest with you guys. Maybe they just forgot that uh, they were going to consider, uh, you know, the, the fans' requests. But, you know... Maybe I beat the hell out of that point. At this point. Because another thing is there's Diablo 4. And that, who knows when that's coming. I would guess probably a few more years, right? Maybe 2024. 
maybe maybe 2025. I would guess it's somewhere in that. So that's a you know it's an exciting time really to be a Diablo fan. Like I said, week and a half from now we got the Diablo uh, the Project Diablo 2 ladder reset season three, and uh, a couple months away we got Diablo 2 resurrected. However good that's going to be, it's going to be fun at the least to try it out initially. You know, uh, new graphics, new soundtrack, widescreen, a shared stash. You know that stuff will be nice. And then we might even have uh, Diablo 4 to look forward to eventually. Uh, so, I'm kind of curious what you guys have to say about that. Which one, which path in terms of Diablo games do you think you'll be taking? And which path do you think you will wear the most? At this point... kind of feel like I'm going to want to play Project Diablo 2 after I do Resurrected for a little while, a couple months, unless if they change to Wayman. So if they change to Wayman and uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected, like I said, that might be just kind of a deciding factor. And, uh, but I just don't really have much confidence that they're going to do that. So... And of course, some folks say, well, there might be a, a Project Diablo 2 resurrected, and that would be interesting. And maybe they could even get the women back to how they were in Project Diablo 2 resurrected. You know, maybe they could do that, the modders. Like the little character select screen, maybe they'll just change it. Maybe they'll just have very simple art, like the old art. Just have, I mean, fuck it, just, just have the original character select screen, all right? You don't have to have the new and improved one with Batista and with the... Uh, the other characters, all right? You don't gotta have that. Fuck it, just have the old the old school one. And maybe they just won't let us zoom in then in Project Diablo 2. So they kind of look like they used to look, you know, maybe, but maybe they could, maybe they could trick them out a little bit. You know, maybe they could, could soften the edges on them. You know, maybe they can make the character models look just a little better is what I'm trying to say. You know, give it to the, give it to the boys, you know, the modding, the fellas who mod. Give it to the fellas and shit and maybe, Maybe there'd be some potential there. Now we could have the new graphics, we could have the good music, but we could also have the biggest fuck inventory. We could also have a few a few revisions. Of course, you know, folks are divided on the revisions. Yeah, I kind of miss the days when the sorceress could teleport fast as fuck and her teleport wasn't on lightning frames. You know, I kind of miss those days. And I kind of miss the days where Enigma was just godly as fuck and Holto was godly as fuck. You know, I miss those days a little bit, but I do like melee splash damage. I think that's something that I wish were in uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected, because then you can be the Frenzy Barbarian, and you can kind of keep up a bit more with the uh, endgame clear screen characters, all right? You can keep up with them more. And I'm trying to hold out on Diablo 4. All right, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of holding out on that, just being hopeful. All right, I mean, now they have competition. They got the Path of Exile. They got all this other shit they have to compete with. They know they probably can't toddlerfy the game so much. You know, they can't just have all the matching color sets and put that, put on the matching colors, and you'll do, you'll do twenty thousand percent more damage. And you can make minor tweaks here and there, but the game's basically over at this point, you know. Maybe they'll actually have itemization in Diablo 4. They'll have a item chase in Diablo 4 uh, that's relevant to where it, it, it does end up gaining game-changing factors if you're willing to put the work in. Like in Diablo 2, you find the Burr Rune, you can make infinity, all of a sudden... You can break immunities with a lightning sword, and your lightning sword is now endgame viable. See, that's a game-changing factor, and you don't see any of that shit in Diablo 3. There aren't any immunities at all in Diablo 3. That's fucked up. So I think there should be immunities in Diablo 4, because then you have to strategize. But is that the fucking gaming experience is partly about? It's about being strategic and shit. Using your head and shit, you know, thinking and shit. That's what the game experience is kind of about. So you got to think a little bit more. You got to strategize a little bit more. If, if it's immune to lightning and all you do is lightning damage, you got to think and you got to be like, okay, next time I'm going to put some points into this cold shit so I could deal with lightning immune. So, you know, you got to use your fucking head. 
We gotta say, okay, I'm gonna have a decent mercenary who does physical damage to take care of these guys. So I think, you know, and that's, there's more to it than just that. But yeah, Diablo 3 didn't have uh, the immunities. So, and you just had to match all the colors. And, and then you had these massive power spikes. And that was a bad thing, I think, because in Diablo 2, it's a gradual increase, and you do get spikes here and there, but not like 20,000% spikes, where all of a sudden you're going from Torment 1 to Torment 14, and uh, you can clear Torment 14 now as fast as you were busting your ass to clear Torment 1 10 minutes ago before you added that last set piece to gain 20,000% increased damage. It's fucked up. That's fucking bullshit. Yeah, let me know what you dogs think about this. Which one do you think you're going to be playing more? Diablo 2 LOD Classic? Project Diablo 2? Path of Diablo? Diablo 2 Resurrected? Or Diablo 4? Or do some of y'all play Diablo 3? Or 1.09 Diablo 2? You know, let me know in the comments below. Because uh, there's some variety coming up here and it seems like a good time. I even played Diablo 1 Belzebub mod and that was a damn good time. So I'll probably go back to that and play more in the future. But yeah, let me know which one are you kind of leaning toward and are you optimistic for Diablo 2 Resurrected or Diablo 4? Talk to you dogs later. Hey, if you want, become a patron. Really appreciate you dogs uh, for supporting the Ice Boy. Um, I'm cheap as fuck in general, so your contributions go a long way, all right? And maybe I'll get a little bit of gold and silver and shit if I get a new patron here, and I'll definitely shout you out. But thank you guys for supporting me as you do. Uh, yeah, very much so pleases Ice Boy, and uh, may the Creator bless you and keep you. And may you have many wives.